we are just a bunch of like students in a sense. We're not even uni graduates. But suddenly we are like this crucial part of the fight against COVID-19. When we first got the idea of Beep, we were just a bunch of like friends going through NS and we were just generally interested in programming. You know, we would be the nerds that would like bring in programming books or like technical documents into camera and then whenever we were free, you know, like waiting to shoot at the range or what, we would just read it. Anyone who's gone through NS would have that same experience of like going through this tired, difficult day under the hot sun, right? and then you just want a cold, refreshing drink. Right? And then the vending machine is right there, you can get the drink, but you don't have change, right? and it only accepts coins, and it's so annoying. right? So I kind of like thought like, it would be pretty cool to be able to have just a QR sticker on a machine, right? and then you can scan and pay, so you don't have to have all that change. So that's one of the you know, starting places where we thought, hey, this is something we could do, right? payments and machines. So if you think about the fundamental technical concept right, of just tapping a card on a machine or presenting your NRIC to a machine, it's actually not that different. When COVID first hit, actually the government asked different machine operators, like, is there a way to use machines to automate distributing masks? We showed like a working prototype of like scanning an IC and dispensing a mask. And I think it kind of solidified the idea that, okay, this is doable. Right, so the Trace Together token machines are really different from any of the other deployments we've done because there's so many more steps involved. So you think of how you buy a drink from a machine. Right? You go up to a machine, you select the drink, you pay, and then you're done. But if you go up to a token machine, now the machine needs to know your IC, but it also needs to know what's the serial number of the last drink you bought. And then besides that, after you've made your payment, when it dispenses the new drink, it also needs to know what's the serial number of that drink and tie it to you. So there's so many different changes from just a regular machine or even the mass machines. When we first started, we were just using cardboard right? and like an apple pie box. If you drop an apple pie with a QR code down into the tube right? and if it didn't break and you could get a QR code, then maybe it could work. Right? And then from there, we started refining it. No matter how it dropped the token, right, upside down you know, or the correct side up, you needed to be able to scan the QR code on the token. And a lot of time was spent in perfecting that. We had to also figure out a way to activate the tokens just as it's going to be dispensed. Otherwise, if you leave the token in there and it's running and the battery is on, it could sit there for a month or two months. Right? And then by the time you take the token, it's going to expire. So we had to actually figure out ways to take the magnets at certain location so that just as it's about to drop, then it can get activated. Because it's activated by electromagnetic field. The fact that we could build something in Singapore, solve the local pain points, and then have the ability to go overseas and solve those pain points too. Like in Hong Kong, we're also helping to distribute test kits through vending machines and MTR stations. There's an element of trust that people have when a Singapore-based brand reach out to them and say, like, we want to try and do this for you. It's been a good learning experience for us. I don't think you can get this in like a university in a certain sense. A lot of practical experience on the ground and that kind of exposure to understand what are the needs of real people and being able to build a solution that solves it is very, very different from like just you know, scoring full marks in an exam. <laughs>